Okay, everybody, we've got Alex Hemingway, who uh, had a career high of 17 points today. Please go ahead with questions. Hey, Alex, it's David Hobbit, Tiger Net. Uh, you know, did you have that feeling in pregame? Hey, if I get the, if I get the ball, I'm going to shoot it. Did you have that feeling early on, or, or was it something that kind of came on as the game progressed? Um, yeah, um, honestly, every game, I feel like I have that feeling uh, pregame, you know, getting shots up early, just kind of getting the feel for the ball in the game. Um, but yeah, tonight, honestly, was just a, a good night to see the ball through, go through the basket. Um, all season, I know I've gotten good shots and I just haven't failed. So tonight was a great night to kind of see, uh, see them go, go through the rim. Alex Trevor Gross from CUTuckers.com. Is, is there a favorite spot that you have on the floor? Um, it seems like that that uh, curl off the screen at the top of the key uh, seems to be one of your favorites. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that spot a lot. But honestly, uh, really, it's the corners, I like corner. But honestly, as soon as I step on a court, any, anywhere is good. It's good for me. What was the mindset of the team today coming out of that pause, knowing last time, hey, we lost four out of five. Today, you guys looked really aggressive from the outset. So, you know, what was the mindset of this team coming in, into this game? Uh, really just to come out and compete. Um, I think as you guys, you guys saw from our last uh, break, uh, the first game we came out, we kind of came out slow and lethargic. Uh, and I don't, I don't think we really were, were ready to compete at a high level. Um, so really the message to today was to come out and to compete play hard um, and just really give it your all. Cause you know, we got 12 guys. So as long as you go in and give it all, give it your all for your minutes, um, you'll have somebody right behind you ready to come in and, and pick you up. So uh, yeah, to answer your question, really just to come out and uh, compete and give it our all today. Alex, how important was this game? Um, not not only because you're coming off the COVID pause, but you know, being a road game and, and you've got two, two more home games coming up and then, uh, you go to Syracuse uh, to finish out the regular season, but just to kind of keep the momentum going that that y'all had winning your last three before the COVID pause. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, these last four games are you know a, a huge uh, stepping stone in order to uh, solidify our spot in the ACC. Honestly, we we're playing for for a lot right now, so we're just trying to uh, to finish out this regular season uh, the best we can and just uh, solidify our spot in the uh, ACC standings to have a good good seating in the ACC tournament. Any more questions for Alex? Alex, was the conditioning, the emphasis on conditioning, the biggest factor you think uh, this time around? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, definitely. I would say it's definitely one of the uh, one of the top two. But like I said, uh, from day one, coach just said that we, we can't lose our competitive edge. Um, really, so they had the conditioning and then our, our individual workouts that we did before we could uh, get together and practice. I feel like that was just kind of what he emphasized in order to to keep our competitive edge and, and keep our wins. So that when we came back to Tonight we were able to come out and uh, not not come out slow. Alex, do you feel like you did more individual shooting this time than you did last time around during the break? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. I just stayed the course. Uh, you know, I get I get my 500, 1,000 shots in, in between that uh, basically every day after practice. So I just uh, I stayed the course. I just keep shooting and uh, keep a shooter's mentality always. Any more questions? Thanks, Alex. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed day. You too. All right. We will be back with uh, head coach Brad Brownell.